Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your your messages from Spirit Reading. Um, and it will be from Mar for March 2021 for the sign of Aquarius. So I hope you're well Aquarius. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. There are a few cards to pull here. I'm going to choose the first one. So what do we have for Aquarius please? Angel Spirits Guides. A message for Aquarius, thank you. Express your joy. An opportunity to express your joy here. Maybe to do with heart images from the heart. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. So there is a message of hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out when they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in some difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. So there's hope, an opportunity to express some kind of joy. What do we do? What do we do? What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel spirits, guides. I like somebody was putting words into my mouth then we have number 26 love and light act with care and finally Aquarius what do we have for Aquarius please March 2021 okay so the final oracle card we have is rat be true to yourself and the universe will be, will reward you. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. Archangels Gabriel and Zadkiel. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Aquarius. The first card is the message from spirit. What you need to hear. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is any action or advice or final words so what do we have for Aquarius please angels spirits guides message for Aquarius March 2021 angels spirits guides what does Aquarius need to hear let's shuffle one more time What does Aquarius need to hear? Thank you. Okay. So I have the four of coins. Or pentacles. The eight of wands. And we have the, <laughs> this, the empress. Very nice energy, Aquarius. You know, high priestess, soul energy. Very beautiful at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, really nice energy. So we have the Four of Coins, which is an energy of you being resourceful enough to bring security and solidity in your life. Very good in terms of money, career, finances. Um, it's a card of being careful, cautious. It feels like there's cautious optimism here, Aquarius. But the four of, four of Pentacles can be a card of getting security. Yeah. Security, preserving, preservation. Um, so it definitely feels for some of you, the four in tarot is a card of stability. You know, it's the foundational energy. So finally getting on that footing where you're feeling secure and stable. What, did it, what does it pertain to? News, conversations, messages that bring a shift and change. I love the energy of the Eight of Wands because it comes out of the blue and it is divinely guided. All of a sudden there is hope. All of a sudden there is that light. All of a sudden there is a reason to express some kind of joy here. Uh, possibly from some news, conversations that you're having in the month is going to bring some kind of shift. Now, this card can be sometimes associated with technology, so um, internet communication, email, I mean, you know, some link that you might see that brings some kind of shift ultimately and conversation that leads to the shift. 
so again just look out for that it can also be at a distance so sometimes this can be to do with travel so distance communication conversations I mean that might resonate for some of you as well but nevertheless it's bringing the foundational energy back which is beautiful and I love the Empress just love the Empress uh, final words is, I mean, you might meet a powerful woman in business, you know, if it's to do with money career, um, this can be a woman of influence in business career. So very nice energy indeed. Um, she is also very good in terms of the birth of something new in terms of money, career, finances, can also be in terms of love, romance, relationships as well. She rules both. Um, but she is, the time is right, the conditions are perfect. There is the promise of something real here, that if you take action, you have the resources that you need, the practical resources, knowledge, experience, to bring the solidity and security back into your life. So it is an energy of the time is ripe. Things are ripe for the picking with the Empress. Things are ripe to plant new seeds, sow new seeds for your future because the shift is available. And we have the High Priestess. You know, again, trust your intuition. You are being guided. She is a card of guidance through intuition, guidance through dreams. Um, she's your soul light, your soul path. So it definitely feels for some of you, your soul truth. Be true to yourself. She is a card of truth. Being true to yourself, true to your soul self here. And it feels like that will be revealed to the world as well. You coming into your own in some way. It feels absolutely beautiful. Um, aligning to exactly where spirit is aligning you to as well. So I love the energy here, Aquarius. It feels very beautiful. So I'm going to finish off with a final message. Final message for Aquarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Aquarius. Yeah. <laughs> we will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. Number 32. And we have stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. Number 27. Yeah, very nice energy, Aquarius. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.